Hi, this is Pete from bloggingenius.net. Welcome to the third video in my blog SEO series. Um, this is about link wheels. Now, if you don't want to know what a link wheel is, basically it's where you have your, your main keyword or a blog post or an article, and we build a link wheel around it. Now, this can be using Web 2.0 properties, um, articles, uh, blog posts, um, all kinds of different ways. So this is a very basic link wheel. So you would have your main, either your main blog or a blog post or an article that you've written based around the keyword that you want to rank for, that you want to build backlinks to. One of the best ways of doing this is by using Web 2.0. Now this can be Squidoo, Hub Pages, Weebly, um, Wikihouse, anything um, that is a Web 2.0 property. The beauty of these, if this is a new site, it's quite tender, if you, if you kind of understand what I mean. If you start bombarding it with backlinks, it's not going to do the, the site any good at all. You can bookmark it, you can do what you want, but you will actually damage your SEO um, efforts by doing that. So we need to build a buffer zone, if you like, around your main site. And one of the best ways of doing that is using Web 2.0, because Web 2.0, I mean, Squidoo, um, Hub Pages, they're all high page rank. They've got millions and millions of, of um, articles on them, that are, and they're just very, very well protected. Um, so basically, if we have a, a Web 2.0 site, say, for example, this one here is uh, Squidoo, this one here is uh, Hub Pages, this one is Weebly, this is WordPress.com, and this one here is a wiki. Now, what we would do, we would, we're targeting a specific keyword. So we would make sure that this first one, the Squidoo Lens, was targeting the same keyword. We'd have one link in here coming back to our main site. And then we'd also link to our next um, Web 2.0 property, which for this example would be a hub page. So now we have a link from our Squidoo to our main site and a Squidoo to our hub page. Then we do the same with the hub page. We link that to our um, main keyword, our main site, and then we do a link then to the next one, which for example will be Weebly. Then we do the same again. You'd have one link from Weebly going to your main site and one link going to the next site, which for this example can be wordpress.com. So then it's the same again. We have one link going to our main keyword, one link going to our next Web 2.0 property. This is quite basic at the moment. but So you'll notice that this last one, let's just say, for example, this is a blogger blog, there'll be no link back to your site. So you're not actually completing the wheel. You're leaving it open-ended. Now, they say for SEO purposes, this looks a lot more natural as when you backlink, if, when you're building links naturally to a site, then um, it won't, you won't ever close the loop. So Google actually looks for this now. Matt Cutts has discussed this on his blog. So they say it's better now to leave it open-ended. So we just leave this one, we're just with one link going to here. And then we can take all five of these Web 2.0 sites because they're all very powerful sites in their own right. You can social bookmark all of these Web 2.0 sites and also take the RSS feed from all five of them. Now, you, I've just used five as an example here. You can do as many as you want. Some keywords maybe require three. Some keywords you might have to do 10. If on your main site you're targeting four or five different keywords, then you can do a link wheel for each one, getting back links back. Submit the RSS feed from all of your Web 2.0 sites to the RSS directories. Okay, we'll have a look at the next slide. Okay, now I found it. Okay, so now this is a, a bigger elaboration on the, the first um, slide that we were looking at. So now we've added in five article directories. Again, eZine, Go Articles, Buzzle, Article Dashboard, and IceNet. All very high page rank um, with Google PR. 
They've got thousands of articles on them. These also act as a buffer, again, for your main keyword or your, or your blog post. So again, we do the same. So Ezine, you would have one uh, link in your resource box going to your main keyword, and then one link going to your next article. And then the same. So from Go articles, these are just examples. You can use whatever article directories you like. So again, going to there, going to your main site, to your main keyword, and again, on to the next one, and so on and so forth, until you get to the end, and then leave it open-ended again. And then again, social bookmark all your articles and submit your RSS feeds from all the articles to the RSS directories, which there are hundreds of. Okay, so now have a look. Okay, now this is an extension again. So we have our main keyword or blog post. Now you can do this with Web 2.0, with article directories, with um, other blog posts. Um, these are just some examples. So we have our eZone article linking to our main keyword or blog post, and then on to Go articles, for example. So then we can build another little link wheel around this eZine article to give this eZine article a good chance of ranking, because obviously you would have done your SEO for your articles. So now, if you're targeting a fairly easy um, uh, keyword, then by doing a good bit of, uh, if, by social bookmarking and submitting the RSS feed for your eZine articles, you will have helped it to rank. But then if you build another mini link wheel around that article, you'll get some decent backlinks to it. So this can, again, this can be from Squidoo, Weebly, and Hub Pages, for example. Again, leave it open. So you're getting two links then back to the article. Now, and then the same again. So we do the same then for Go articles. We'd have three Web 2.0. These could be other articles. If you use um, Unique Article Wizard, I don't know whether any of you have subscriptions to that, but instead of using Unique Article Wizard to bombard your um, your main blog or, your, or, or a blog post, use it to bombard these or to bombard your articles because you'll get a lot better results by doing that. These are acting as a buffer to this site. Now, you want these articles to be spread out. I mean, you're looking at this and you're thinking, well, that's only one link, Pete. You're mad. This article, if it gets reused by other bloggers, by other article marketers, and they leave your, which is what they're supposed to do, they leave your resource box in there. This one article could actually give you two, three, four hundred backlinks over time. So just consider it. Also, so we do the same. So with the Buzzle, Article Dashboard, the Isenair, it's all the, all the same. Just build little link wheels around these. Okay, now I'm going to show you, again, social bookmark all the articles and submit all the RSS feeds to directories. Okay, now I'm just going to show you a couple of websites to make this social bookmarking a hell of a lot easier for you, because obviously this is a lot to social bookmark. Okay, so the first site I want to show you is OnlyWire. Now, OnlyWire offer you the chance, if I can find it, tools, here we go. Now, you can use OnlyWire to submit your content, i.e. your articles, your, um, your blog posts. Even if you're just blogging, this is a very, very good um, company to use. It's free. You can get the only wire submitter, so it automates the submissions from your Mac, PC, and Linux computers, the login required for a download. And also you get a bookmark and share button. Now you may have seen these on people's blogs and people's websites. So when people come along, they get the chance to click on this button and social bookmark your content. But this also works very well for submitting your um, your articles and also your, um, your web to websites. And another one is social marker. You see on the right hand side, you only do one bookmark at a time with this. You put the title in, the URL, the link URL, so it'd be Squidoo uh, or Hub page uh, forward slash whatever your keyword is, um, some text in there, and then your tags. The tags are your keywords. These are where you want to put your the keywords that you're trying to rank for. 
And as you can see, the social, social marker supports all of these sites here. So, and there's quite a lot of them. The downside to this is that you have to create the accounts for all of these. Now, I've done this in the past, and it took me about one and a half hours, I think it was, to sign up for all of these, all of these accounts. And then to use Social Marker then is, is easy. You just put this in. Um, some of them you have to, um, they've got the, the, the automatic bots, in the, the capture, sorry. So you'll need to uh, fill out the capture to, to use them. But apart from that, they're all very easy.